Hi everyone, it's Jay and I want to talk to you guys today about what the term experiential marketing means and how to begin a career in the experiential marketing industry. As you guys know, I am the author of You Do What, but aside from that, I have been working in the experiential marketing industry for over nine years now. I started my career as a brand ambassador at the entry level position and that is where I learned all the tools and tactics that I talk about in my book, You Do What. But I've also been able to evolve in this industry and make this a career. I've been able to obtain my CDL license, uh, manage tours, work as a product specialist, production manager, as well as hire and train some of the best experiential marketing professionals in the industry today. So aside from all of that, I just want to talk to you guys about what experiential marketing really means and feel free to share this video to like it and to leave any comments below in the news feed as well um, experiential marketing is also referred to as event or engagement marketing it gives clients as well as fortune 500 companies the ability to create memorable consumer experiences which will then equate to brand loyalty, brand awareness, as well as sales mm -hmm. amongst mm -hmm. consumers. So in a nutshell, I work in an industry where I am able to be a part of some of the coolest experiential marketing or event marketing campaigns for Fortune 500 companies and their products. I'm able to travel um, to meet various people and to also engage with consumers in unique ways, whether it's serving as a product specialist doing different test drive campaigns and conducting riding ride drives, whether it's managing a program where we have different logistics and setup elements that must be considered, or even at the entry level position where I started as a brand ambassador, where I did in-store demos at your local grocery stores, as well as different events which allowed me to not only um, touch and feel products, but also give consumers my experience on how I, whether I liked a product and why it was advantageous to purchase it. So experiential marketing has different avenues that you can explore in the industry. However, starting out as a brand ambassador is important because it is where you will hone in on your skills and where you will learn what is needed and essential to advance and make this a career as I have done. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about not only what experiential marketing is, but what a brand ambassador is. As I stated before, I started out in the entry level position and I worked my way up and I worked sometimes four to five jobs in one day. Yes, one day as a brand ambassador, starting at 7 a.m. and then working all the way up until 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. doing various liquor promotions. So my days were, some, day, some days were long, some days were shorter than others, but I was able to work for different experiential marketing agencies, work with various brands, and just learn all about the experiential marketing industry. Now, I will tell you this, I did not quit my initial full-time job in corporate America to pursue experiential marketing full-time. It wasn't until I was able to build up a great rapport with various agencies to learn the industry because you have to learn the industry in order to advance. And then from there, I was able to decide financially what was best for me. And it turned out that being an experiential marketing professional was the best avenue because it allowed me flexibility as well as financial freedom. So I talk about all of this in my book, but I say this to say that don't limit yourself and sometimes stepping out on faith and trying new career opportunities may open up doors for bigger and better things. But aside from that, um, becoming a brand ambassador, like I said before, was key for me. How do you start as a brand ambassador or where do you begin your career as a brand ambassador? I get asked this question numerous times, whether it's just various consumers speaking to me while I'm executing an event or via email or Facebook. And my best answer to that question is 
to start with a list of maybe the top two or three experiential marketing agencies. I'm going to list one agency that I recommend in the comments below in this video. Um, however, there are a lot of groups that advocate, hey, here's a list. Go ahead and sign up with all these agencies and this is where you'll obtain work. Yes, I received a list when I be first began in the industry as well. However, that list will not teach you or not will not equip you with the tools and tactics that you'll need to be a great brand ambassador and to advance in the industry if you choose to do so. This industry is evolving daily. And if you don't learn the essential tools to advance in the industry initially, then you will not obtain opportunities for months or even years to come. So while I do advocate for this and I love the list, it's important that you understand what you're getting yourself into when you're entering the experiential marketing industry. So I recommend signing up with two to three agencies, creating a headshot, which is, I mean, a headshot, excuse me, which is clear and um, shows you smiling is important. It's also to generate or create a resume, which lists all of your customer service experience. This is an industry of first impressions and being able to speak and engage with consumers. So having customer service experience is important. I worked in hospitality and I also had a part-time job while working in the experiential marketing industry with a restaurant. So I learned the importance of customer service and making sure that I exuded outgoing personality way before entering the industry. If you are not a people's person, this is not the industry for you because you will have to engage with people at some point or another. And let me rephrase that. If you are looking to begin a career in the experiential marketing industry, but you're not really keen on engaging with people, you know, daily or even frequently, then there are opportunities in the industry such as like logistics or working setup and breakdown, which may be more advantageous for you to consider because you have little minimum to no contact with consumers um, frequently. So that's just a, a little side note there that I wanted to add. But back to becoming a brand ambassador, having an outgoing personality is important. Your appearance is important, as well as making sure that you have time management skills, you have reliable transportation, and you are able to um, show up on time and just engage with individuals and convey knowledgeable product information. That is key right there because I've managed so many programs where I've hired brand ambassadors and they just didn't have a great personality. They were rude to cut consumers. They were not on time and they were just, they were honestly a pain to deal with. And a lot of times I either had mm -hmm. to terminate those individuals and find a replacement or just let them know, hey, I'm not gonna be able to allow you to finish out the rest of the day or the event working because of your attitude or your personality when you're engaging with consumers. So learning the key tools and tactics to implement initially is important. Applying for jobs, like I said before, starting with two to three uh, experiential marketing staffing agencies will help you to not only obtain the opportunities within your market or your region, but it will also determine whether or not you like working as a brand ambassador um, because it may not be an industry for you and that's fine. There are other avenues that you could consider as well. Applying for jobs, it takes time. I would apply for five to 10 to even 15 jobs a day when I was working as a brand ambassador. And to be honest, a lot of times I wasn't hired for those positions or I only got a call back or an email back from one of the agencies that I applied for during the week. And that's normal. That's how it's going to be when you're starting off in the industry as a brand ambassador. So don't get discouraged. Continue to apply. And as you apply and work different events, you'll be able to 
build a more complex resume which shows your experience and then from there you'll be able to market yourself for more opportunities also working as a brand ambassador you'll be able to meet fellow industry professionals and network and find out based on where you live some of the best agencies or the agencies that hire frequently in that that city or that state so don't get discouraged don't give up continue to apply and as you apply and you obtain opportunities, you'll be able to tailor your resume based on the experience. It's also important to build a great rapport with account managers or staffing managers who may be hiring for the particular program that you are applying for. If you build a great rapport with that individual and you do a great job, then nine times out of 10, they're gonna call you back for future opportunities in that market. So. Like I said before, it goes back to the three P's that, that I discussed in my book, being professional, being personable, and being presentable. Those three things right there will ensure that you not only maintain consistent work opportunities, but that you build a great rapport as a brand ambassador. A couple other things that I wanna touch on before I let you guys go, because I have to go work an event today here in Rochester. Um, is to make sure that you do not try to be something that you're not or that you work to evolve in this industry. I say this to say the experiential marketing industry is constantly evolving. There are more individuals entering the industry. There are more agencies as well as Fortune 500 companies seeing the benefit of investing in the experiential marketing industry because consumers are looking for different ways to become brand loyal to different products and services. So don't lose sight of your personality. Don't lose sight of mm -hmm. making sure that you do what's required to maintain a great reputation in the industry. This industry is one of first impressions and a lot of times if you don't do as great or you are not professional or presentable or you are rude to consumers, agencies will find out and you will not be hired for future opportunities within that agency. So make sure that you're always practicing the three Ps. Make sure that you are working to advance your career as an EXP and that you follow not only the tools and tactics that I've talked about today, but you read, you do what, and understand that, yes, starting with the list is great as a brand ambassador, but there are many tools and tactics that you will have to implement along the way to advance your career as an experiential marketing professional. Make sure you guys go to youdowhatbook.com and order your copy today. It's also available on Amazon as well, and I've been getting a lot of great reviews from people who have received the book and read the book and have loved it. So thank you guys for your continued support. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and have a great weekend.